Hello, how is it going? It is Faker coming at you once again with another Legends of Runeter video. Today I'm going to share with you guys a deck that I extracted from the Mobilitix uh, meta page, which is going to be the uh, Blige Water and Piltover Twisted Fate Ezreal deck. It's pretty much a different take on Ezreal. We've seen plenty of Ezreal decks so far. We have the Fr Ezreal Fjord, we have the Ezreal Karma, and now we have the Ezreal uh, Bilge Water, which I think was really interesting. And I always like to try different decks. Um, I don't tend to stick to the very straightforward as well-known meta decks. If I do play something in the meta, it tends to be something a bit different. So I really enjoyed this deck I played today. Um, it basically uses cards such as like the keg. We utilize cards like zap spray fin, uh, and we essentially just find a little bit more value from our spells. Uh, we also run cards like make it rain to allow us to deal with the widespread board. So this deck is kind of more catered towards a uh, more I guess tempo styled fight for the board Ezreal where we pretty much have a plenty of spells to level up Ezreal more than even the Karma deck has so it's not too hard to level up Ezreal and there's a few different ways you can play this deck it's a bit it's a bit tricky just like any other Ezreal deck really but I think this one brings a lot more different tools and a lot more uh, straightforward plays I guess we could say let's jump across and have a look at the deck and we'll talk about all the cards that are featured but before we do that I just want to say uh, thank you to everyone who's uh, been showing support on these videos so far it's actually been tremendous uh, some of the comments you guys have been leaving have been very uh, productive in depth and have provided me some information and possible ideas to do in the future so I really appreciate that and also if you are new here I definitely consider think that you should consider subscribing because we are posting daily Rune Terror content if you're interested in seeing some of the popular decks, some of the off-meta decks, we'll be providing all those kind of goodies. Let's jump across, guys. So usually I like to go from the top to the bottom. Uh, pretty low in terms of the curve, so I really like that. I like a deck that <laughs> doesn't have to give me big cards to make my decision-making very hard. But I guess the highlights of the deck is obviously going to be Twisted Fate and Ezreal for the newer players who don't understand. Uh, Twisted Fate just provides some productive plays to make in this list as well. You have very flexible tools with Ezreal and for the chance that you might level them up, that's pretty cool too. I haven't, I didn't get much experience playing the Twisted Fate in the matches that we had, but I believe he's going to shine in certain scenarios. I think obviously the red card's insane for dealing with spiders. If we do tend to run into them, gold card can buy you turns, blue card can just, it's just incredibly utility based champion that can fit into a, a lot of different decks and so it finds its home alongside Ezreal. Really likes that well, really likes Zap Spray Friend, so I didn't mean to take it out. Love this card. I love the aesthetics of this card. Just everything about this card just feels so pleasing. Uh, it's pretty flexible and we do run a little bit of three mana or less cards. So this card, it, it's this, it's a bit more cycle. It's a bit of a board. It's elusive too, which is kind of relevant. So you can sometimes find your chip damage alongside it. We won't talk about Zap Sprayfin too much, okay? Uh, Static Shock, just pretty much as we go through these, you're gonna see a lot of tools that are just interacting with the board, drawing cards, or just uh, generating cards. Static Shock's pretty flexible. Deal one to multiple units or Nexus, draw cards. This is pretty, you know, standard for any Ezreal list. The multiple targeting is kind of relevant too for leveling up Ezreal. Since we are in Bilgewater, we have access to Salvage, which is actually quite relevant in this deck because drawing cards is important. And the, the tossing of the cards isn't really much of a problem if we're being honest, because you're not going to ever toss your Ezreal or your Twisted Fate. You may toss some okay cards, but because we haven't got anything too specifically higher value, uh, the Salvage just pretty much finds that draw that you need to get to the cards that you want sooner. Gotcha, pretty cool fit. Uh, drawing this on curve or not on curve, but drawing into it allows you to play this for cheaper, which makes it kind of interesting. We don't run Get Excited in this list. I guess discarding of cards is kind of not as necessary and the Get Excited, yeah, Gotcha provides that kind of value as well. You can play either or, but Get Excited allows you to hit face a lot of the time, but we could probably get there with some of our other cards. Uh, Chump Womp's pretty standard in an Ezreal deck, especially like, because it provides those mushrooms. There's not much to talk about here. These are pretty much just activators for uh, Ezreal, which is kind of relevant later in the game. The body is kind of relevant too. It's just a very valuable card in this kind of archetype. Uh, so we're going to go to our keg cards quickly. We'll go to Petty Officer first. So pretty much the powder kegs just allow your spells to do more damage, which can help you. Usually most relevant for dealing against boards, but obviously you can also buff your direct damage to their face like Mystic Shot. So, you know, also just keep note uh, that you can actually summon a random one cost ally, which can sometimes be relevant in certain matchups. You've seen an example in one of the first games that we had here that sometimes you will choose to summon those minions, especially if you don't need the powder keg for dealing damage. 
the, you might need the minions to fight for the board. So that's a very flexible card, and the kegs obviously makes a lot of sense. Ezreal, we won't talk too much about him. He does what he needs to do, that's what he's here for. He is going to be your combo activator. He is going to be your man that comes in and towards the end of the game just really tilts your opponent. So that's great. Mystic Shot 3 of, pretty standard fit for an Ezreal deck. I don't think this card would ever be taken out anytime soon. Mostly used for awesome uh, removal in the early game. Towards the end, we're going to send them to the face. Pretty standard. Uh, more interesting cards, make it rain. This is kind of great for activating Ezreal, as well as dealing with aggression. Uh, putting, playing this alongside a keg is just really backbreaking to a lot of matchups, mostly against other tempo decks or uh, aggressive decks. So that's where this deck finds a lot more value in terms of being able to deal with boards. Uh, Dreadway Deckhand, pretty much more combo. Uh, keg activators. Uh, this card's pretty cool too. It's a two mana two two, so it's not understated already. It's okay. And we do get the keg value, so it's okay. And it's something productive to do on turn two, which Ezreal has not tended to have many productive plays in the past. Rummage makes its fit into Ezreal. Cycling is kind of important and activating Ezreal as well. Discarding the cards doesn't tend to be as valuable. You just have to be careful what you do discard and when you do decide to play Rummage. Parlay, pretty cool fit. Deal one to anything. If this kills it, deal one to the enemy Nexus. It's sometimes fine value in terms of dealing damage to the Nexus, but what it ends up doing is kind of is helping to deal with the early game. It's sometimes an activator for Ezreal. Plus, if you manage to, you know, bring something down to 1 HP prior to playing other spells, you will find that Nexus damage sometimes. Thunomic Beam is a 3 of. Uh, this deck does lack in the departments of dealing with big minions, so this is your very flexible, expensive removal that could be used in many different ways. That's the deck list, guys. Let's go play some games. I'm just going to pull up the deck list here that he may be playing. Give me a good reference. How many denies could he possibly have? Usually one deny, if he's using a pretty standard list. I think we keep cards like Dreadway Deckhand and Petty Officer most of the time. We're getting onto the board. We do tend to run Mystic Shot. But this is okay. So they're running a pretty funny card. Uh, Sub Percible. That could be kind of threatening towards us. So should we play this deck hand right about now? I don't think it's any reason not to be getting onto the board. Be nothing left when I'm done. We may find ourselves in a position where we use a petty officer to actually summon a random one cost ally. Just to keep the board wide against them. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. We can sit on two mana, he can retreat. And retreat. And Sonic Wave. Big shot. See what he does here if I swing. I don't think they're supposed to tank damage. Your lesson begins. Okay, I wouldn't be surprised to see him use a uh, retreat here. But he can't actually play the next card though, so it doesn't work that way. So his best play is just to pass, I guess. I can actually consider using the Thunamic Beam here. It does achieve a lot if I clear it now. So he needs to be sitting on a um, retreat. Let's give it a shot. I think even if he retreats here, he doesn't find the value from the um, return. Good it's one mana. Yeah, what's up? Just Love you, yeah. see you soon. Okay, so if we were gonna do this kind of line, it would have only made sense if we had have attacked, so I think that was okay to tr attempt to try and do. So he's down one return, keep track of that. Because he fizzled our Thermic Beam too, we still have a keg. So I can Mystic Shot this. 
which I don't think is a bad idea. Knowing that he can't clear it. Not the best value from the keg though, but it is what it is. I think this is going to deal a fair bit of chip damage. We need to le level up Ezreal one way or another. One shot sets him down, one retreat down. He has Eye of the Dragon in hand. Productive plays would be to play Sprayfin. Outside of Shadow Assassin, there's not many elusive cards that he has. He has the Percival. Oh, we won't be seeing that this turn, so... This is usually okay. The flavor of Zap Sprayfin is pretty amazing. I think it's a really cool, aesthetically pleasing card. Competitiveness, it's pretty good. In a deck like this, in control. Drawing a spell. Having a specific cater. It's below three though. It's three or less, not three on the spot. So he's sitting on three mana. So we can do like Mystic Shot, Dynamic Beam, Flash of Billions, just to spam spells. This would be an okay swing if we do plan on using Make It Rain. But the Make It Rain does find more value later on. We want to hit multiple targets with it. Okay. Seven mana. How do we clear that? Challenger. Okay, we can go keg here. I wouldn't be surprised to see him actually challenge the keg with Vi. I think it would make more sense to go for the spray thing. So that's one plus three. Oh, do you want to go back to work? The spray thing goes down no matter what. We already played one retreat. They tend to only want one copy of it. Can't deny. Let's kill the um, Eye of the Dragon. There should be nothing here that stops this. Getting his, re getting his retreat early was a kind of relevant too. I just noticed that they tend to only want run more single copies, so kind of strange. <sighs> so turn six, he wants to play Lee Sin. Let's draw some cards. I think we need to start looking for Ezreal soon. Static Shock, Rummage, not too bad to discard. And we'll pass. You'll probably drop Lisa on the field. So I think we are quite on the back foot here. So we're gonna to have to figure out at what point do we start going face. I think this deck in particular is more catered towards aggro decks. So no Lee Sin, or he's choosing not to play it. I wonder why that would be. Okay, we're passing.
He didn't play any spells there. Guess he's not fussed about finding value. Okay. I'll let it happen. He can challenge my... I think I'm just gonna play Chump Womp here. There's always a chance that he might target it with Vi. And then it kind of brings him down to one. Puts him in ranges. They're rocking a Will of Ionia, one copy. Deny one copy. Okay, he does the um, more considerate play. Okay. I feel like he's kind of starting to play a bit slow here now. So if I go for a Thanomic Beam, could get denied. I guess we're drawing some cards. He's taking slow turns. So I get to do some slow turns now. Maybe I should have targeted Vi there. To buff Ezreal. But I guess it's kind of like a, one of those like, how desperate am I to level up Ezreal? At the pace he's playing right now, not as desperate. We're passing. I don't know why he decided to do all these things before swinging. I think the open attack was kind of weak. I would have to argue that he should have considered playing some cards. Okay, is that actually at a 5-5? Five five? No. Wait. Okay, that's really a strange play. extra Ezreal on hand. So if I play Ezreal to the field, he has a single copy of Will. He has Concuss of Palms. There's Thermomic Beam, which is not the most effective use. Obviously he has the elusive unit, so we can block. We'll like open up the Zap Spray Fin. Yeah, we're going to look for an Ezreal, really strong Ezreal turn with the burst spells that we have. Okay, Leeson's starting to come down. It's not hard for him to give a barrier. He needs to cast two spells. So he can easily cast... Sonic Wave. It's, it's very easy for him to have the answers that he needs. But what I could do is Thermomic Beam the Vi and usually it goes down. I don't think there's a way for him to do anything about that. So what I should do is probably make it rain then Thermomic Beam. Maybe parlay. No. Just make a range. We need to level up Ezreal. Now this as I said, this thermomic beam should work. Unless he's running a card not a whereabout. Close to leveling up Ezreal. Yeah, he played kind of slow. I feel like that turn where he just didn't develop his units cost him. I could almost even swing like this. Not entirely sure what it achieves. This gets uh, blocked by 3-2. Gives him less targets to actually hit with Lee Sin though. It may even be 
not even bad to swing here. Well, chill for now. Nothing's connecting face, which is like what's important for us right about now. Our enemy cannot yep. hide. Fair enough. Conflict is all in the mind. My lands need me. So what I can do is make it rain, Let hope that it hits Lee Sin. Leeson hasn't even leveled yet. This is actually quite good for us. If I was to make it rain, there's a chance to clear Lisa in here because he can't regain barrier. He can have deny. I think it's worth a shot. Oh, we actually hit Lisa in. That's actually mental. I wouldn't even be surprised to see him. That's actually crazy that hits Lee Sin and opens up parlay. And at least even if um he has an answer to uh, protect him to Lee Sin, this is probably one of the better op opportunities to use parlay to level up Ezreal. Ezreal's already leveled up to be honest though. So I could play one this turn. Or I could play Chump Womp, honestly. Well, actually I could play both. We'll play the Ezreal first. I think this opens up opportunities for him to not have an answer to it immediately. Or he could waste time dealing with it. Like he pretty much like is forced into a will. And that's a what he's a single copy of will down. And if he uses that, I have an opportunity to hit the lease in. With the parlay. Which is kind of relevant. If the Ezreal sticks, then we can always uh, hit up the mushroom clouds. Oh, take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. Puts him in a very awkward spot. So I'll parlay. And now if he wants to will, he wills his own unit. I can deny him value with a mystic shot. I wonder how important that is to us. It is a little bit important. I don't mind it. I think I'm actually gonna go on for the mystic shot here just to get rid of the lease in. It's gonna buy us a tremendous amount of time. Plus if he's not dealing with the Ezreal right about now, then we're gonna get value from the uh, shots to his face. Obviously, our first card fizzles. There's not many slow plays I'm too concerned about. So I think we're pretty safe to play Chump Womp. Two, four, six, eight, ten. We almost have lethal damage. He used his will pretty awkwardly. So we'll make it rain. No, we won't. We'll attack first, right? He has to block, um, do something about the Ezreal now. Okay, so he wills. I can make it rain. Mushroom, 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 mushroom. It's unlikely he has another Will of Ionia in hand, so I'm not entirely sure how he deals with the Ezreal. I wonder if I should use this Mystic Shot. Maybe I can sit on it for a sec. Yeah, I guess I'll sit on it. Actually, it wouldn't have had matter anyway. Oh no, he would have. No, he wouldn't have. We only have one mana. 
We're chilling. Is he cast two spells? He wants to cast another spell to bring bring back. Oh well. No other spell in hand, maybe. Uh, this game should be over. We just we have to make the next turn correctly. So I can let him attack me. That's fine. He's played two copies of Bull of Ionia. He can have a Thermic Beam. If he Thermic Beams the Ezreal if I play it, then I can uh, use the secondary copy of Ezreal to win the game. Within my grasp. Sure. This should be a win most of the time. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. The one option he could have, which I'm not sure if it would work. Yeah, this these mixture of cards should be the win. Unless he has a third copy of Will. I'll be losing my marbles. Tell you what, bringing up your opponent's deck list is no joke. It actually helps out tremendously. The fact that he's running two copies of the Leonia, that makes me wonder what he may have cut. Like he might not be running like Trial of Evidence, which seems to be a new popular card going around in PNC. Very difficult deck to pilot these ones up, but very rewarding at the same time. Okay, he's just doing something. So there should be no outplay to this. Firing. GG. That was very difficult to pilot. Very difficult to pilot. I think he made a mistake in the mid game. As I said, there was a turn where he played the open attack on Vi. That probably cost him the game. It may have, it maybe not didn't cost him the game, but we have to wait to see how the next few turns turn out afterwards. That allowed me to play very passive and play for the value. I think against any Ezreal deck, you can't play for like the value like that. Karma Ezreal. Interesting. So I wonder. I would have to assume that Ezreal Karma is indeed favored in terms of value. But we have some aggressive tools. So we want to keep the deck hand for sure. We want to throw back any card draw and hope that we find them later in the game. Because we'd rather find the cards that we need in the tempo that we need. This is a rule in rule 101 of card games when it comes to especially similar mirror matchups. You want to play for the not the cycle game, we want to play for the tempo game. So me summoning a 2-2 two, two, like this, pretty strong. Okay, so let me just think how extremely unfavored we are in this matchup. In terms of getting to turn 10, he's super favored, right? Like the, he has the eye of the dragon and stuff, he has the ability to sustain. And like get more value from the eye of the dragon especially. In terms of any areas I might be favored, I have the barrels, so if I want to start doing chip damage to his face early, that could be kind of relevant. So this turn should always be an open attack. I don't know if I want to play Ezreal, because it very much gets get excited. So I need to play around that at all costs. I'll buy us some time. So we just open attack. It probably gets Mystic Shotted. Okay, that's one Mystic Shot down. Anything I can do to outplay this? Denying value? Doesn't make much sense right about now. And I can't not develop. I think that's the only area we can try and win. Even though, like, the problem is he's gonna get value from his spells. So, if I, for example, right now he's passing, he may even have a unit in hand but doesn't feel the need to play it. I wonder if it's ever worth trying to fight this game out. And honestly, I don't know. This is the matchup that I wouldn't be too familiar with. He's passed the turn back to me though. I wonder if I just not allow him to play anything. Can't be correct. 
I think I've just got to play Chump Womp, even if it gets to get excited. It is what it is. Okay, he develops his own Chump Womp. He was willing to let me not play mine, which is very interesting. Why would I play gotcha? Why would I play gotcha? I guess I just don't. Not now. Kind of interesting. I wonder if that's correct. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. He may static shock. I guess not. If I do this, I get outplayed. Make it Ryan. It's not going to find much value in this matchup. Hmm. Maybe we'll summon a one cost ally here. I think I want to play a Petty Officer B. Now he can play Static Shock, leaves him with three mana. Green Glade, not too interesting. He opts into the Mushroom Clouds. Okay. Suddenly make it rain finds a bit more value. See if you open attacks here. What's your sitting on? One out of eight. I'm zero out of eight. So we're probably gonna use a mystic shot. He's going to dispel it. Deny it. Static Shock, he has 9 mana, deny. Mm. I think we try it. So then he does that. I wonder if I just let this go through. Because be, if I play the Make It Rain right now, I lose a buff on Ezreal. So I'm actually going to allow it to go through so I can target the, uh, what is it? the claws of the dragon. And then I find a little bit more value from Make It Rain. Puts him on 3 out of 8. I'm on 1 out of 8. So we do this. Stay back. Don't want to tank any damage unnecessarily. It's going to be hard for us to find any value from Make It Rain in this matchup, so I'll try and do it now. Okay, our hand size is pretty decent. Our mana management's been pretty good. So what can you do about the Mystic Shot? Give Mystic Shot his own unit to deny me value. I almost could play Ezreal. But they can never be correct. So I guess Mystic Shot here is okay. 
He does run Yone, Wind Chaser on the top end, which might be a bit of a problem. And he goes for Thunamic Beam. My Thunamic Beams are going to be good against Wind Chaser. It's been unlucky him drawing the claw there. Ah, uh, this is open attack. He might block it. Chooses not to. Mm, I guess we're ending the round here. I was kind of hoping he might block it so I could just parlay to find some sort of value. So we have to salvage. Not bad discards. A okay, static shock. Might deny this one. It's one deny down. Not the worst deny. Mystic shot. Wonder if it might have been worth just using the parlay. Okay. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Smart play. I kind of walked around to that one. This guy, this man is no joke. He is uh, the main Ezreal. Firing. So an opportunity to go in there and I allowed that. Kind of disappointed. Two mana gotcha. Sure. Another gotcha. Drawing spells. Okay, 23. 22. 6 out of 8. 5 out of 8. We're winning. Zap spray friends a pretty good find. So he drops karma in Ezreal here. Okay, apparently not. Ezreal is leveled. Zap spray friend right about now and does not find any value. I guess we have to play the Ezreal. I wonder. One shot, all skill. Yeah, we should swing. Obstacle, me gauntlet. Thought about using the parlay there. I wonder if that was correct. So I want to use a parlay prior to the attack to level up Ezreal. I may have walked into a bit of a trap here. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. Where there is life, there is hope. Need to level up Israel. Okay, it's giving me opportunity to play something here. I'll go for the spray fin. We don't get the mana value, but we get some other cards to play. Make it rain seems pretty decent. Also levels up Ezreal. 
double mystic shot. This is intense. It's more important to clear here. Beam something. Trying to work out if it's going to be Karma or Ezreal. We have an elusive unit. I think it might be Karma. Ezreal's on 6 out of 8. At least we have a blocker for Ezreal. Is it time to play Ezreal? I don't think so. Pass for now. Stun. So I guess now I have to play Ezreal. So this opens up get excited. So we've obviously got to play the mushroom clouds now. Don't think there's any reason not to. We have one more Israel in the deck. I feel like I couldn't let, let Ezreal connect to my face there. <laughs> Check me out. It's okay. It's not the worst outcome. But we are down in Ezreal. I don't think it matters what I play now. He's already leveled up Ezreal. If he wants to use a mystic shot against my units, it is what it is. So... Should I Thunamic be Thunamic Beaming so I can attempt to hit him in the face? I think we have to go aggressive here. I think we already talked about the fact that this feels kind of unfavored. So if I was to, let's say, for example, use a Thunamic Beam for Tempo right now, so I can push 4 damage on the open attack, there might be an argument against it, but this is the line I'm taking. Okay, so he just Thunamic Beams himself. Well, then I have nothing left in hand. So we're just attacking. And we're gonna hope that he starts drawing poorly. Okay, it's a pretty decent pull. We'll be passing for now. We may draw into some mushrooms. That's actually insane finding Ezreal. Stun. I guess we're passing this turn. Because he hasn't got a Ezreal right now. I can maybe find a little bit more value by buying myself a turn. And tanking five. Seems like a risk I'm gonna have to take. So we're actually just 100% passing him. Jump Womp. These cards don't matter to me. I wouldn't be surprised to see him drop the Puff Caps. Yeah, I just need... Yeah, this is actually really good for us. This is insanely good for us. I gotta hope that he hasn't got Ezreal in hand. And we may have just won. If he also has Ezreal... This is, this is dealable. So what's the correct way to do this? Fast spell first. <laughs> no, I guess we just miss the his face and hope for the best. I mean, he would essentially need... 
to do something crazy here. What would he need? Get excited, could it work? Fuck. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? We just, it doesn't matter how we do this. We just use the mystic shot and he may just draw into a mushroom. You cannot escape. Yeah, because he already has a double get excited stacks, so... It is what it is. Hopefully we just have enough damage and then he draws to a mushroom. Like, he has 17 out of 14 cards. It's insanely likely that he draws a mushroom. Insanely likely. He's also going to go for the mushroom plays. Respectable. Oh, go for the Thanomic Beam, please. Let's say, for example, he doesn't draw a mushroom right now. That's just unlucky. I think we did everything we could to try and guarantee a win. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We we managed to... We... We, oh. we managed to do something I wasn't expecting to happen. And that is go toe to toe against the Kama Ezreal with a more differently tech deck. I think we played that pretty well when I think the fact that we were tempering out some plays become kind of relevant. He's um that one turn where we allowed him to play the Ezreal to the field though, I'm not sure if there was a way around it. But that's the position that we found ourselves in. It's a bit dark now, I probably should have turned a light on during this filming, but Hey, I'm gonna cut it off there. I think these these a couple of games really go super into depth with what you want to see. Um, there's gonna be more weird situations, but I think those two matchups that we had are probably some of the more in depth ones, which really gives you a run for your money in terms of what has to be done to win. Insane. And guys, don't 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 laugh at my rank. <laughs> like I know I'm platinum, but I still think I have an okay grasp of the game. Like whenever I feel like sweating it out, I can sweat it out. Not in terms of winning games consistently, but just in terms of taking my time with turns and thinking about the uh, outcomes. Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in once again. I appreciate everyone's support so far. It's been super welcoming. Uh, some Everyone's been communicating, commenting, you know, dropping their thoughts on stuff, giving me some opinions. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you are new here as well, I definitely think you should consider subscribing. We are making daily Runeterra content. Uh, we're going quite in depth with some of these videos, so you might be able to learn something or two. You have yourselves a fantastic day.